All right, so here we are. It's so normally we have to do a two, but we're in stealth mode, so we're only gonna have to add one to whatever we pull. So maybe class A, we're gonna be able to pull this off. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, so we're gonna get five. So that's gonna be four cultists. All right, this is it, the big finale. Okay, let's set our range, and man, it'd be nice if we could stay at fire range. We're gonna pull a six, no, no. All right, I'm gonna put Abraham and Scarlett side by side in the hopes that maybe, maybe they'll be able to, you know, <laughs> generate a bit of magic. Squad leader pulls a three. Yes, good job, squad leader. Now, this is interesting because here's the thing. <sighs> that command point, right, we're at hand to hand, so we're not gonna be able to yell take cover. We do, however, still have an info left. And one of the things we can do with our command points now, remember, is we can call for an ambush, all right? You can only ambush on your first round of battle. So this is our opening combat round, so we can call for an ambush. And what is gonna happen is we're gonna get what's called the tactical advantage. And that means we're gonna pull an attack, but normally we each exchange wounds, right? What's gonna happen with an ambush is we will get to assign all of our wounds, and if we kill any off, they don't get to attack us, which is really kind of cool. So let's spend this command point and call for an ambush. So we get to attack first. Here we go. Scarlet, a hit, yes. Abraham, a hit. I'm telling you there's something going on with those two. Heavy weapons, yeah, that was hard for you. You're more of a fire guy. And fire team, ah, oh, miss. That's all right, so we did manage to get in two hits, so we'll take that, we'll take that. We'll take two hits. And then, so let me see the timing of this really fast. So it says here, okay, so here what it, here's what it says under ambush, okay? If you gain ambush, you resolve your attacks before the opposing side resolves its attack during the first round of, combo, of combat, okay? And resolving attacks normally are simultaneous, okay? So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and pull for these guys. Seems to me that's how it would work. And then I guess I get to decide who I want to eliminate. Is that right? I, I'm guessing. Tell me if I'm wrong on this, all right? All right, a two, he's a miss. A three, he's a miss. A three, he's a miss. And a two. Okay, so now we get to the resolve phase, and normally we would resolve simultaneously, but I'm gonna get to resolve first. So that means I get to take two of these guys and assign them a wound, okay? Well, none of them hit, so it really doesn't matter which, which guys get wounded, but I'm gonna resolve them first, wound and a wound. Now they would get to resolve against us, and there was no hit. That's how I'm reading this ambush. Let me know if I'm doing this wrong. All right, round two, we are back to setting. Come on, nice and low, nice and low. Five, five is not low. Okay, so an Abraham will bring that down to a four. We have one last smoke grenade. Do we throw it? Ah, I think we should. I think we should throw our last smoke grenade. Because remember, that would bring us down from a four to a two. And all we need is, okay, let's see. Let's see if squad leader's feeling it or not. Come on, little squad leader. This is your moment, zero. Yes, two command points. Oh, man. Okay, we might have to rename our squad. We may have to rename our squad leader. Okay, so we're at a five. Abraham brings it down to a four. And good old squad leader, he can spend one of these to bring us down to a three. We're going to throw our smoke grenade to bring us down two more to a one. We did it. We did it. And even better, we still have one command point left to play with. Oh, that is awesome. So we're at fire range, and we have that smoke grenade going on, right? So I'll just put this here to remind us. 
we are now, everybody at fire is at a minus two, okay? So I could yell take cover, or I could use this to generate attacks. Let's see. Let's see what we do here. Hmm. Let's pull first and see how we do, and then we'll decide if we want to take cover or not, because remember, we're at minus two. Ah, oh, doesn't affect Scarlet. She's still going to get in a hit. Ooh, Abraham whiffed it, though. Sorry, Abraham. Yep, heavy specialist. He's going to get in one hit. And fire team A, he's going to miss. So here's the thing. If I use my command point on my heavy weapons guy, that'll get him two hits. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's do that. All right, so Scarlet, you get a hit in. And heavy weapons guy, you get two hits in. All right, but now it's their turn. They are at a minus two. So the only way they can hit me is if they pull a plus sign. Miss. Miss. Plus sign. Oh my gosh, come on, really? Ah, miss. And a miss. All right. A miss all across the board. That's great news, great news. Okay, and we have one, two, three hits that we get to assign. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, we're out, here we go. We still have that darn smoke grenade going on, but let's see where we are attacking from this turn. A two, great, we're still at fire range. Still at fire range, okay. Oh, right, sorry. At the end of our turn on a six plus, this is going to um, disappear. Nope. Oh, yeah, a six. There you go, sorry. We lost our smoke grenades, darn it. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. We are straight up fire attack. We can do this, guys, we can do this. Squad leader, no, no, now is not the time to whiff it. Okay, a one for Scarlet. Ah, six for Abraham. Thank you, Abraham. Heavy weapons pulls a one. What is happening? And a five. Okay, so we have three. We have three hits, right? One, two, three. We did it. We've killed them off. Now we just have to survive their attack. Here we go. Fire range. Ready? A hit. Ugh. A miss. And a miss. Ah, oh, not a problem. Not a problem. We'll assign it to Heavy Weaponist. And we did it. We did it. We wiped out these guys. Ka-chunk. Dead. And we planted our last grenade. Good job, team. Oh, I left a five here that whole time. Well, that wasn't very helpful. And we're going to stick our last detonation charge right there. And I believe, if I remember right, let me double check. I don't think we have to get out. We just have to set the charge, right? Yep, as soon as you place two demo charges, the mission is an immediate success. Woohoo! Okay, that was that was bizarrely easy. I think we got really lucky with the way we ended up pulling our map. So let's go resolve. Um, yeah, let's do a mission debrief and finish this up. All right, now comes the fun part. Let's get our victory points. We successfully completed it for three. We did not abort it. We did not fail. Okay. Unspent squad points, didn't have that. We didn't end up with two unspent resources, we only had one. We had one little info pack, so we didn't get anything for that. We chose two strategic options, so we don't get any of those, but mission completed before turn 14. We did that, we really ran through this one. So it wasn't a big success, but that's okay. Four points, we'll take that. We'll take four victory points for this one. Not bad, you can see it's getting a little bit harder. And of course, our Leader, I believe he got himself, where was it? Mission completed in fewer than 12 turns. Did we do that? We did, we did, we did it in 10. Ha <laughs> ha! So he gets himself a lucky star. Awesome. I feel like he's finally earning these things. Maybe he's getting a little better. He's not quite a dud. I don't know, should we give him a new name? I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy with zero, but let's go ahead and give out some experience points. Yay! All right, so everybody gets, everybody who went with us, that is, gets themselves three experience points. So squad leader, he had one from last time, so he's up to four. And Miss 
Scarlet came with us this time, so she gets three. And Heavy Weapons, this was his first time with us, which is awesome. So let's scoot down here. And he gets three as well. Abraham, good old Abraham. Man, wow, he's up to eight now. Holy mackerel. We may be able to get him a really cool upgrade here. And, oh, Benjamin. Benjamin finally joined us, so he also gets three. So let's do the easy upgrades first. So let's turn Benjamin and um, our heavy weapons dude, let's make them veterans, okay? Because that's a... That's an easy one to take care of. All right. And these other guys, however, interesting, interesting. Okay, now remember, we also have one additional uh, victory point that we can award to whoever we want. And it says here, on this cool little handy chart, what you need to get to your next skill level. So for example, um, Right now, our squad leader is sitting on four experience points. So, he, he would have to be a level five to cash in five experience points, so I don't think he's worth giving the extra two. Um, Abraham's sitting at eight, and with one more, ah, let's do it. So let's give that extra experience point to Abraham. That would bring him up to nine, and we'll cash all of those in, all right? Because for nine experience points, we can turn his melee four into a melee three. He might need a new card. So let's do that for him. And Miss Scarlet, now she does not have a talent yet. So I'm thinking with her three experience points, what if we um, get her a talent? And of course, our talents are, the one we have left here is Eagle Eye. One of your units can always execute a fire attack before the enemies. Meh, she's not a fire person. So let's see what other um, talents we can get. All right, other talents are, let's see, Aid de Camp. All right, this will help the squad leader with his command check. Ooh. That might be nice. All right, uh, apply plus one modifier to all fire skill checks. Nope, she's not fire. A brawler, we can apply one modifier to her melee. Oh, that would make her a tougher melee. Hmm. Or we can help her, ooh, a runner. That would make her eat really good at advancing. Oh, are there more on the other side? Tactician, ah, we've already, we've already done tactician. So it looks like our choices are we can use her to help our squad leader. We can use her to make her crazy good in firefights. I mean, not firefights, in melee attacks. Ooh, ooh, that might be worth it. Or we can make her advance. Wow, so many choices. Huh, let's see. I think I'm gonna give her another plus one to her melee skill. Maybe I'll give her Brawler. Because it seems like Scarlet and Abraham have got a nice little synergy going on here. All right, let's try that. Let's make her a brawler. Yeah, she'll be a tough chick. Totally love it. All right, all right, so that's it. I think that's everything for this particular mission. How are we doing on our victory points, though? Oh, yeah, we're doing good. All right, we're really rocking it. 10, wow, wow, 10, 18, holy mackerel, we are already up at victory conditions, and we still have... Three to go. Okay, okay, only three left, guys. We're getting to the end. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you soon.